How to survive medical school. In this fast-paced modern life, sometimes you just have to live 24-7. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Dan and today we're going to talk about how to survive medical school. Medical school is probably one of the toughest, so you have to be prepared. This is going to be a short video. I'm going to give you some quick tips. So let's start. Number one, the first tip and probably one of the most important ones is don't be scared. Sometimes it can be very hard. Everything will be new to you. New surroundings, new teachers, new friends. And sometimes it can be pretty intimidating. A lot of students feel excited. A lot of them feel afraid or have some type of anxiety because they don't know what to expect. They don't know what will happen. Of course, most people are afraid of new stuff and sometimes it's a natural response, but don't let that cripple you. It's okay to screw up something. You're a student and you're learning. That's normal part of your education. You will be a lot of times in situations where you don't know stuff and you should remember that it's okay if you don't know stuff. So when you're going to be in a stressful situation, just calm yourself, think about some things and just know that it's going to be okay. Number two, have a social network. Being a student in medical school doesn't mean that you don't have opportunities to make new friends. Be open, be nice, talk to people. That's always a good start. Studying together can be really fun and it can help you a lot. Sometimes studying in groups can be actually more effective than studying by yourself. So try it out. Believe me, you will have time to make new friends, to go to parties and still be able to study effectively and pass those exams. The student years are the best years of your life. Enjoy them and don't stress too much. Number three, be receptive to failure. A lot of students underestimate medical school because you know, a typical medical student is smart, has good grades and a lot of people when they start medical school their bubble just bursts you cannot be amazing all of the time there will always be someone who's better in some fields than you are so you just have to accept that and later in life when you become a specialist you will know that you have some qualities that other people don't possess you will not always succeed but that doesn't mean that you should give up number four learn how to study trust me you will need to learn how to actually study if you're going to medical school you will have to memorize a lot of data and it's not like high school but anything can be done when you get into the groove then you're good to go but first few months will be quite difficult they're difficult for everyone because nobody actually knows how to study and what books to read, how much to read, how much to memorize. Should I memorize everything? Should I just selectively learn something? Should I watch YouTube? Everyone needs a little bit of time. You need to find your own style of studying. So don't worry, everything will be fine. But you just have to know that there is a big chance that you will struggle in your first year of medical school and that's pretty normal. Number five, be organized. Go to the library, get some books or buy them or download them. But you know, be organized, get yourself some literature, make some quick notes that are easy to read and easy to remember. Don't write long and boring sentences. It doesn't make sense. Quicker notes are the way to go. And of course, if you take quick notes, it will be easier for you to study for exams. Tip number six, drink and eat healthy. For example, let's say you need to examine a patient. You feel the butterflies, you are nervous. Oh, what should I do next? What questions should I ask? How am I gonna do that? You're learning new stuff, of course. And how the hell can you learn if you're thirsty and hungry? It just doesn't go together. Drink a lot of fluids. Don't just eat sandwiches. You can drink coffee and tea, everybody does. But remember to drink a lot of water. Prepare a healthy meal 
And if you're watching this video, I probably don't need to tell you what healthy food is. Stay away from drugs. When I went to medical school, there were a couple of students who were addicted to drugs and not just weed, full-on amphetamines and also some pain medications. Drugs can only harm you in the long run. Even if you need to study real hard for some exams, just don't do it. You shouldn't be taking drugs for anything, not even medical school. It's not worth it. Tip number seven. Have some fun. Enjoy your life. It's not always that serious, you know. If you fail an exam, well, it's not the end of the world. There's always next time. Tip number eight. Get a lot of sleep. You will need it. When I was a student, probably in the third or fourth year, I would sleep sometimes four to five hours. And believe me, that was not cute. I was so sleepy all the time. Coffee is great. I still drink a lot of coffee. But remember, everyone needs seven to eight hours of sleep. It's really necessary if you want to do something or else you'll be just tired and sleepy all the time. Number nine, if you can't make your own notes, then meet someone who will give you their notes. Actually, this is the most important tip. Have a friend who will give you notes. <laughs> well, sometimes it can be cool if you have some older students helping you out. Older students have been through stuff, so they know what's going on. You can always ask them for advice and then you can just copy their notes. <laughs> Number 10. You gotta work and you gotta work harder. So you need to be prepared to study a long time. Sometimes people prepare months in advance. Sometimes for some people one month is enough. I've also known some people that have passed their exams and they studied only for about two weeks. It can be done, it's just a question if you're satisfied with the result. And the other extreme is that some students study all the time and too much. So you gotta have a balance and you'll find out what that balance is. And that's it! Those are some tips that can help you survive medical school. There are probably a lot more, but it's late and I need to go to work tomorrow. So just deal with it. And that's all for today, guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post new videos. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye!